the La La Gang? What it do, y'all? Hey. Hmm. Y'all creeped in on me, huh? I'm just sitting here putting on my lip gloss. See, I'm actually trying to get my mind ready for a reaction. But at the same time, see, since y'all caught me slipping, I was sitting here trying to see what I want to come on and talk to y'all about real quick. Because, yeah, I want to talk. But how y'all doing? It is so good to see you. I haven't seen and talked to y'all since, um, I think it was Sunday. Okay. Wow. It's good to see y'all, Lala Gang. I hope y'all are doing good and doing great, because I'm doing good and doing great. I'm preparing, getting ready. Oh, is it okay that I come and just talk to y'all for a minute? I'm just saying. Or, or do y'all y'all ready for a reaction right now? I'm just saying. Oh, what was that? Oh, you can wait? I can talk? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So anyway, don't worry. Your reaction is coming. Today is Reactments Day 22. Okay, but hold on real quick. Let me put my lip gloss on, okay? Because, yeah, y'all know my lips. They, they so used to the lip gloss. They be saying, you need to moisture me now. Anyways, y'all, um... I just want to come in and talk real quick before I actually jump into my reaction for the day. Do y'all know who we talking about? Can y'all put y'all hands up? Oh, don't put your hands up. Just put in the comments down below who you think my reaction gonna be about today. Hmm. The mother of, of eight, okay? Uh, yeah, of all these kids, I'm just saying. Anyways, y'all, Um, no, for real, on the real note, I just want to come out here and talk to y'all because... I just realized, okay, I didn't realize, but I realized it last week. So, this goes out to my single mothers, okay, that's, that's co-parenting, okay, and, and, and I need help from y'all, okay, I need advice from y'all of how do you do it when it's holiday time, okay, I had my baby for Thanksgiving, um, and I thought I had it planned out for Christmas, like, okay, uh, he'll just be with me Christmas Eve, and I know he'll be with his dad on Christmas, so I thought. But then I forgot that Christmas is on a Saturday, which makes Christmas Eve on Friday. And if y'all, everybody know this, co-parenting with the court system, y'all know Friday is the pickup day. Am I a little sad? Yeah. Do I feel a little? Yeah. But I know I can't be selfish. Now, if it was the old me, I would say he can't go. I would not answer my door. I would just leave and not be here and he will not be able to get him. But that is so not right. That is so not fair because we have to share. I had him on Thanksgiving. It's only right that he have him for Christmas. Um... I had him for his birthday. He celebrated his birthday uh, the week before. I celebrated his birthday the week after. So now we have Christmas. It's hard, y'all. It's hard co-parenting. It's hard um, doing all of this. Um, I know sometimes you, you feel like going to the, to the white people, okay? And it's the Caucasians whatever you want to call it, and I'm just being honest, to put them in their life to make them take care of their kids and stuff. But it's it's the things that comes with it. And, and when I say comes with it, y'all, it's a lot that comes with it. A lot that comes with it is um, the adjusting. And I talked to y'all about this before. The adjusting is he goes over there, then he comes back here. When he comes back here, I have to shape him up to how things rock and roll over here, which he already know had goals. But when he goes over there, he's around kids that's younger than him, okay? So he pick up, you know, the things that they do and how they act. And then he don't do it there, but where do he want to bring it? He bring it back here, okay? And that's something that I have to deal with. And it, it, it comes back. He comes on Sunday. I have to deal with it Sunday, Monday. By two, by no, by Wednesday, it have worked itself out. So that's something that I'm struggling with. And it's just, um, I wonder, and this is just me, does the child, is it, is it the child just trying to really adjust to going to two different households, two different environments? They do things different. I do things different. You get what I'm saying? Um, so why it's just, you just can't get right, okay? Um, at first, 
when he started going over there, I wasn't dealing with that, y'all. Not that much, but more of now. We already know when he come back, <laughs> you know, I'm going to have to jump on his ASS, okay? Because he's finna go into baby mode. He's finna to cry about everything. He's finna start throwing these little fits. And I say to myself, that is not him, but these are habits and things that he see kids that's that's younger than him and, and what they are doing. Okay. Now, what else I was dealing with was another transition was um, him getting in trouble over there. Him, him getting disciplined over there. I wasn't okay with it. I'm not cool with it. But at the same time, he's not telling me how to parent him. I can't tell him how to parent. I tried. Like, hey, don't whoop the... Because for me, I don't know. For me, I'm very, you know, I think you have to really push my button for me to actually, okay, I'm going to whoop your ass. Rather than that, I am just very chill with it. When going into a different environment, they try to be more stricter. It's stricter. And then want to discipline you. Seem like on everything. I try not to throw a fit. I try not to yeah. I just try to say hey. You know. I am a female. He is a male. My son is a male. So he probably knows what he need. And what. You get what I'm saying. I'm more of the. You know. Um, Yeah. I just. It's a lot and it's hard. And this time around, it's hard because I won't have my baby for Christmas. And so now it puts me in a mode of what do I do? Do I just go ahead and celebrate the day and put his gifts to the side because I have older kids? And then when he come back, he just open them? Or do I make my older kids just wait so we all can do it together? Um, I don't know what to do, you know? So, if you are in my shoes, if you have been in my shoes, what do you do? Um, I know for like Thanksgiving, he was here and when I'm cooking and stuff, he want to know what I'm cooking. He want to taste what I'm cooking. He can't wait to eat what I'm cooking. And this time... He won't be here. So, it makes me a little emotional, y'all. And I just don't know what to do, okay? I don't know how to go about it. Of going like, okay, well, this Christmas, he won't be with me. He'll be with his other side, okay? And, and how they do things. But the thing of it is, is I get no celebration. I get no part. I can't even get... Christmas Eve. I don't have Christmas, you know? And I remember last year, I think that's when everything started um, going for us, you know, um, him going with his father and stuff. Um, I know that he was going to get him, on, he wanted to get him on Christmas Eve, but I said no, because on Christmas Eve, we, we celebrate, but on Christmas, we celebrate as well. So I was like, no, you're not getting him because he was saying he was going to get him and bring him back on Christmas. That was the plan, okay? And I know that I can go to him now and say, hey, how do you want to do this? Do you just want to have him on Christmas Eve and bring him back on Christmas? But see, that's more than too right because now if I'm coming to him to try to, okay, let's agree on something, he's not going to fucking do it. You know why? Because see, I'm coming to him trying to get an agreement together or do it to why he's able to be at both places. You get what I'm saying? It's not going to happen. So I was going to ask and then I said, I'm not going to do that because then it'll piss me off. It'll, it'll put me in a different mode that I'm not trying to be in. And, and then it'll just go left. Okay. And I don't want to do that. I'm just going, you know, let him go be with him, you know, I feel like it's only right, but it's hard on me, okay? So, yeah, yeah, I just don't know what to do. Y'all, please let me know. Should I just um, 
I don't know. Um, should I just try to celebrate in advance, like before Christmas Eve, which means tomorrow, Thursday? Or should I just wait till he come back? Because I just don't feel that it's right. I, I'm, I cook and we do and we eat and open gifts. But a part of this whole won't be here. You get what I'm saying? So for me, the enjoyment, the, insight, the excitement, everything won't be the same. So that's where I need help at, y'all. How do I do it? Or do I just wait? But is it fair to the older kids that we are waiting or they can't. That's the thing. I've been thinking about that for a while. And I'm going like, I don't know what to do. And somebody on the outside probably say, girl, just, just like my brother tried to say, no, just let him open his gifts in time. Then it go, but what about when I'm cooking and stuff? You know, he liked the, yeah, yeah. Maybe I just take it of what I'm used to, okay? And now it's taking me something out of what I'm used to and I don't know how to deal of what I'm going to do or how to do it. Or it's just, you know. And that's why I tell people all the time. You have some people that'll force you and say, not force you, but try to get you to say, oh, put them on child support. You need help. Do this, do that. It's a good thing because... They have to take care of their kids. You got a lot of guys, and and this is my situation, that if the things don't work out with y'all, they'll go find somebody else. And if that somebody else got kids, they're, they're so willing and so, yeah, easy and ready to help them or give to the next. But what about your blood that you have over her? And see, that's what I couldn't stand for no more. And it's like, no. I've been doing it by myself for so long while you over there trying to play stepdad and this and that. And you got these over here and you mad because I don't want you no more and this and that. And you don't want to do for them. It's not going to happen. Okay. So that's where you throw the system on them. You throw the system on them. They are forced to do it. Okay. Period. Um, And by whatever cost. Okay. So if they say, hey, you paying... <laughs> Seven fifty a month. You paying eight hundred a month. That's just what it is. Ain't no way around it. Uh, and it takes from there because it goes like he's over here with you, but he has kids over here. He still have to take care of. Them. But I always say you have to think about. That's what you have to think about. You have to think about the kid and 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 the co-parenting and them leaving and and you won't have them on holidays. You won't have them on certain birthdays. You won't. It's it's a big transition that you have to get used to. It everything is good and great. Getting the money, I got it. But that's the biggest part. And I think the next biggest part that will be coming real soon is where he's able to have my baby for the summer. Okay, he's able to have my baby for a whole a whole month. Okay. I ain't made it there yet. I ain't thought about that yet. I just yeah. Um so I always say it's a good thing and then it's the other side of where yes, it can be kind of yeah. Because it's like, okay, how does this work? I ain't used to this, but you know. It's all about adjusting. Anyways, y'all, I just want to come on and share with y'all on it. If y'all got some good advice for It's Lala, okay, on what I should do. Should I wait? Should I go ahead and just do it early? Or should I just, what should I do? Or just keep everything and just put his gifts and stuff to the side and let him open it when he come back and let him eat the food and stuff when he come back. Or just wait and cook and do where we all are together. You get what I'm saying? Anyways, y'all, I don't know. Help me out. I'm very lost. Normally, I know everything or uh, got it together. Not know everything like that, y'all, but figure it out wise. I don't have it on this one. I am blank. So that's where I want my La La Gang to come in at and know. See, I thought this would be a short and just make it short and sweet, but I can't. Okay. It got me in my feelings a little bit. I'm just saying. Um, It's my baby. Okay. I'm just saying. I mean, him over there and got a yeah, yeah, and yeah, but it ain't, it ain't nothing like mama. It ain't nothing like home. Okay. That's it. That's all. That's all I'm going to say. Ain't nothing like mama and ain't nothing like home. Okay. Anyways, y'all, peace.